we want to solve the given equation, which means we want to find the value of the variable k that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To do this, we need to isolate the variable k on one side of the equation. The first step is to simplify the left side of the equation by clearing the parentheses. Because we have minus the quantity seven k plus eight, we either need to subtract each term inside the parentheses, or if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a negative one. Clearing the parentheses, we have nine and then minus seven k minus eight. Notice how if we distributed negative one, we would have negative seven k, which gives us minus seven k, and then we'd have negative eight, which also gives us minus eight. And this is equal to k minus nine. We can still simplify the left side because nine minus eight is equal to one. The left side simplifies to one minus seven k equals k minus nine. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable terms on one side of the equation. Notice right now we have a negative seven k on the left and a k on the right. Let's undo the k by subtracting k on both sides of the equation. Remember minus k is equivalent to minus one k. Simplifying, we have one and then negative seven k minus one k is negative eight k, giving us minus eight k equals on the right, k minus k is zero. The right side simplifies to negative nine. And now we still need to add or subtract to isolate the negative eight k. To undo the positive one, we now subtract one on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, one minus one is zero. The left side simplifies to negative eight k, which is equal to negative nine minus one, which is negative 10. The last step is to multiply or divide in order to solve for k. And since negative eight k means negative eight times k, to undo the multiplication and solve for k, we now divide both sides by negative eight. Simplifying, negative eight divided by negative eight simplifies the one, one times k is k. We have k equals negative 10 divided by negative eight, and negative divided by a negative is a positive, and therefore k is positive 10 eighths. But this does simplify because 10 and eight share a common factor of two. To simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by two, giving us our solution k equals five-fourths. Let's verify k equals five-fourths satisfies the equation by substituting five-fourths for k in the left side and the right side of the equation to make sure the left side and the right side of the equation are equal to each other. And let's do this on the calculator. Substituting five-fourths for k on the left, we have nine minus, open parenthesis, seven times five-fourths, which we enter as five divided by four, and then we have plus eight, close parenthesis and enter. When k is equal to five-fourths, the left side of the equation is equal to negative 7.75, and now to check the right side of the equation, substituting five-fourths for k on the right, we have five divided by four, or five-fourths minus nine, enter, which gives us the same value. And therefore this shows our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.